Okay. If 35 kg of rice costs rupees 525, how much rice can be bought for rupees 780? Okay, so we have rice. Okay, and we have total price. When I say rice, what I mean is the quantity. So we are told that, you know, if 35 kg of rice costs rupees 525, so let's say there is this bag containing rice, okay, which has a weight of 35 kgs. Well, that is too much, right? I'm not sure if every one of us can pick that much up, right? Okay. And this bag of rice costs how much? It costs rupees 525, right? So 35 kg of rice costs rupees 525. How much rice can be bought for rupees 780? Okay. So now this quantity or this price or the total money available has increased to 780. And the question is, how much of rice can be bought with this particular amount of money? Now, let's solve this question. And how do we solve it? We solve it using the unitary method that we had used in the previous video. Okay. So what does the unitary method says? The unitary method says, find out how much would one kg of rice cost right so what do i do i know that 35 kg of rice costs rupees 525 so how much would one kg cost obviously if the quantity that i am purchasing is reducing right the total price that i pay has to reduce or no let's say for example you went to the market and bought out pencils two pencils cost you rupees 10 okay so what about if this was only one pencil? Obviously, you are going to pay how much? You will say two costs me 10. So each one of them is how much? Each one of them is five rupees. And how do I calculate that? I divide the total price by number of pencils. And I get five, right? Similarly, in this case, what do I do? 525 is the cost of 35 kgs of rice. So if I have to compute the price or the quantity for 1 kg, I will divide 525, which is the price, or the total price, divided by total quantity, right? Total price is 525, total quantity is 35 kgs, right? So let's divide them. So probably both of them are having 5, so we'll divide them by 5. So 5 times 7 is 35, then we get 1, 2, so nothing, 0, 5. 7 goes into 1, 0, 5, 1, 35, 15, 15 times. So each kg of rice costs rupees 15, right? So 1 kg costs rupees 15, right? So we have 1 kg bag, which is actually costing me 15, right? So, how much can I buy with 780, right? So, 1 kg I can buy for rupees 15, or in other words, 15 rupees can be used to buy how much? 1 kg, right? So, 780 can be used to buy how much? It can be used to buy 780 divided by price per kg, right? 15 into 5 is 75, so we get 3 carried here, 3032, 52 kgs of rice. So by using 780, we can buy 52.